A Nebraska state senator calls for a special prosecutor to investigate Cameron Ford's death. This comes after Douglas County Attorney Don Klein rules that the use of deadly force by Officer Adam Vale was legal. KETV News Watch 7's Maddie Augustine has more on Klein's decision and the community response. Maddie? Yeah, Bill Quinicia, Douglas County Attorney Don Klein says they've looked at the video, watched the interviews, seen diagrams and photographs of the house where Cameron Ford was fatally shot by Officer Adam Vale. They're aware of the things that led police to serve a no-knock warrant, and ultimately, he says Vale's actions are legal under Nebraska law. What the law says is that the person who used deadly force have a reasonable belief that that person needed to use deadly force under that situation. Douglas County Attorney Don Klein says based off the evidence including video from Officer Adam Vale's body-worn camera and Vale's statements, Vale did have reasonable belief. His words are, he charged me. At that time, I fired my gun. I couldn't see his hands at that time. Cameron Ford was unarmed at the time of the deadly shooting, but Omaha police say he was a known gang member with a violent criminal history. Ann Klein says undercover agents informed police Ford was seen with a gun the day prior to serving the warrant. It was a very high risk uh, search warrant because of what was involved there. But that background information and threat assessment is why community advocates are now questioning why no knock warrants are even being utilized. If you had controlled buys and you had video evidence of him with firearms, why create the situation of no knock search warrants? Saying it puts both the officers and citizens in danger. If he's committing a crime, there's things that's taking place for a criminals. You put them in jail, you give them court cases. You don't go in and just shoot and kill them. And Nebraska State Senator Terrell McKinney echoed that concern in a statement saying, quote, it is time to put an end to these reckless policies before more lives are lost. And many community members upset with Klein's decision to not press charges against Officer Vail. I'm mad and I know I feel the same way a lot of people around the community is feeling right now. Advocates in the community and for Ford's family say they will continue to fight for justice. Klein says the case will now move to the next step, which is the grand jury process. We will continue to follow this case and provide updates as we get them. Back to you.